Hi everyone, welcome back to Baseleg. So today we're gonna to talk about installing Skybolt fasteners. We've had a request for that since I made a reference to them on the RV-10 and how much I like them. And, and uh, so I thought I'd just go into a little bit of detail here on how to do it and why I like them so much. So the Skybolt fasteners versus the cam locks, you can see the Skybolt, they're infinitely adjustable. So what does that mean? When you set it up, once this is all mounted in your fastener from outside, whatever you're holding on, in this case, on the Hummingbird helicopter, we're holding the cowlings on. What happens is you just put this in from the outside, put your screwdriver in there, and you tighten it. You just turn. Turn like a screwdriver till you got the exact depth you want. And then if you look very closely on the back side, can you zoom in and see this picture right there? See that little pin? Yes. Once you get it where you want it, you just pull that pin out and they lock in place. So unlike cam locks that come in specific setting lengths, dash two, three, four, etc., uh, you always end up with a cam lock or two that's just somewhat in between there, especially when you're working with things like fiberglass against metal, because the fiberglass, in this case the carbon fiber, is just not a consistent depth across its entire range. So the sky bolt makes for a much neater installation. Now, just like the cam lock, so there are a little bit of work to put in. I've staged some of this so you don't have to watch me drill holes and waste your time, but I'm going to show you how this works very fast. First off, when you order your Skybolt fasteners, get the template. It's called Template 215. What that does is it's got holes in there for you to drill uh, for it. So basically what you do to get started, obviously we've put our cowling on, we've drilled it in place, and used Clecos to hold it where we want it. Once that comes off, you use this template with the same Clico here. Oops. In this case, it's a 3 16 Clico in the center hole. And that goes mounts right there. And then what we're going to do is drill those two holes. Okay. So again, I staged this just so you could not waste time. But you can see we're going to drill that hole. Now a trick after you drill that hole, what I do, is take a 1 8 inch Clico. By the way, we're drilling these out with number 30 because we're going to put rivets in there. I put a copper 1 8 Clico in there to hold it in place to drill the second hole down there. If you don't do that, you're not paying attention, your template can slip, and then you're going to get your uh, Skybolt fastener kind of not centered in the hole the way it should be. Okay, so once we've got that drilled, the template can come back off. And then what we want to do is deburr those holes. So I'm going to grab another tool here and show you this. This is called a hot. It's got a little cutter on the side. So you can go in from one side and deburr both sides of the hole. It's the only way to get to the back side of the hole there. All right, so now we've done that. Now we've got a countersink with the holes. So you're going to use a micro stop countersink here. I mean, you can see I've already done this for you. But basically, on these holes, we're going to put this in and drill those out. Okay? And then in this case, we're using uh, AN 426-4-4 rivets. They are 100-degree countersunk head. So you want to use a 100-degree countersunk microstop. For those of you that are building pop riveted airplanes, those are typically 120-degree countersunk. So you might have... You know, I do. I've got both 120 and 100 degree countersinks in the toolbox, so you want to pay attention there. And then, you know, I'll do a test fit. You want this nice so it doesn't catch your finger, goes across the holes. Okay, very nice and smooth there. And then the next thing we're going to do is you've got to open up the hole there for the cam lock. So in this case, we're going to open it up. I've marked it on here, and we're going to drill this all the way down. And this always makes a mess doing these things. So, and by the way, what I'll do is I'll use some bow lube on this. And I'll just kind of put this in there and get some bow lube on it. That's the solid stuff the bow lube works. Or you can use the liquid bow lube as well. And you can just run a little bit of it down the leading edge of the cutter there, both sides. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead. Now, this is where you want to be careful here. 
is we can't go all the way on some cases like we can up here on the rails. On the rails, we can go all the way through to where we need to be. Here, we've got the fuselage in the way. So what are we going to do with that? Well, that's where you're going to need a bigger uh, step drill here. What's bigger about it? It's shorter here. So we've got more room. We only have one more size hole to drill. So we're going to drill that. Okay, that's the size we need. He's down here, and then I can just show you how we do it in its entirety. So let's countersink these holes. Okay, we'll do a test fit here. That one feels wonderful, as does that one. So we're going to take our sky bolt receptacle here. We go it in place. Okay. Now, one of the things you want to pay attention to, remember we've got to remove that pin here. So in this case, the cowling is going to be on here and the opening will be right here. So we want to make certain that this pin gets on this side. Otherwise, if we put it on this back side, it's really going to be a kind of problematic to remove. Okay. So uh, here we go. We're going to by the way, the template does have a third hole in there so that you can pull the pin out this way for future adjustments. Okay, so here we go. Like this. Let me make sure I got that pin. We're standing here talking. Let's put the pin the way I want to have it. Okay. No. All right, we well, click it on one side. Now we'll put the rivet on the other side. Okay. Now normally we're going to use a squeezer. I don't know if there's room here to get in. I would just get in there either with a bucking bar or a squeezer. In this case, you can see the squeezer is kind of tight. Okay, because these are kind of shallow with something behind them. When you're up here on top of these rails, the squeezer works very nicely. So what's the solution here? The solution here is to use a pop rivet. Now you don't want to use your hardware store pop rivet. Use, these are uh, cherry rivets. They're structural. They're called AACQ. They're aluminum, aluminum, and then a countersunk head. And we'll just put it in there. And we'll use our hand pop rivet gun here. There we go. Now notice it leaves a little bit of a stem there. So what we're going to do is take a Dremel right here and just grind that stem off a little bit. Perfect. Nice and smooth. That's it. We're all done. We'll repeat that here and repeat it for the other 33 on this side. All right. Hopefully that helped you understand how to do sky bolt fasteners.